the hell were you thinking? I just want to start by saying, you're all dead. You were seen gathering around a piece of protest art. A shady guy in a van gave you resistance name material and you took it in public without knowing who we were. What if he was FBI? NSA. We gave you phones. Cell phones send a signal out to the network every 10 seconds or so. Remember after 9 11, there was a bioterrorism scare, some guy sending anthrax force through the mail? The FBI caught him by triangulating on his cell phone signal. So, you self identified as dissidents. You kindly agreed to gather tracking devices on your setups. You showed up for a resistance meeting and you signed a waiver that gave us permission to do anything to you. You allowed yourself to be hustled onto a van. You let us take away any way of communicating with the outside world that you had. We then drove you to an unknown location and led you down into this room. If this was Nazi Germany, I would walk out that door laughing and fucking Zylon B would start hissing out of the vents. Learn the lesson, guys. In a real resistance, you don't get a lot of second chances. Look, you've seen some scary websites about what the future might become. Me too. So let's start by saying you're not crazy, and I'm not crazy, and go from there. It's like most people, I need to kick in the ass to change. I mean, I was sort of politically aware, I guess, but mostly that man I read the Drudge Report every now and then and felt guilty if I didn't get around to voting on election day. <coughs> then a while back, some people I know coming across a, uh, call it a transmission, uh, a few broken pieces of the future. I'm scared of shit. It shook my belief that, you know, it can't happen either. The other weird thing was we thought we recognized some things. Uh, a couple of names, uh, the set, the style, a piece of art, the sound, of the music. So we sent some of this stuff around to some people we thought we recognized. Obviously, we didn't say, dude, look, you're being beamed back from the future. Because none of us wanted to be getting animals from their direction in state psychiatric facilities. What we did instead was we sent a piece of work to the person we thought created it with a note attached, like, hey, uh, is somebody trying to copy your style like that? For instance, we sent a music to a certain artist and said, hey, sounds like something new. Is it a bootleg or is it maybe somebody trying to leave something out of the studio on you? A couple days later, there's something in my inbox from this artist. The subject line is, Get. Turns out he had written the exact words down in a notebook a few days ago. He hadn't even started recording the song. The rest you know. We've been trying to find as many of these transmissions as possible, trying to get them out there. People are waking up to this shit. I mean, they're painting street art, they're writing songs. I'm involved with a website called Open Source Resistance. Maybe you've seen it? <laughs> yeah. Is this the future? I don't know. I sure as hell don't know. Think about what you've all have witnessed in the last few years, right here in America. In the aftermath of 9 11, the current administration has done unbelievable damage to civil liberties. If you are not a U.S. citizen and the government decides, God help you, that you are an enemy combatant, which they can define pretty much at will, they can throw you in jail and keep you there forever. Is there anyone here who's not a U.S. citizen? Hey, just being here at this meeting might be sufficient cause to call you an enemy combatant. Okay, if we were the feds, we might have said the 
kids that will scare the shit out of everybody else, but you become a home to that. You get a one way ticket to fucking one time on bed. What about those of us who are citizens? Tonight, you're lucky. But what if there was another 9 11 attack? Big terrorist attack, something bigger even, something, say, right here in LA. Say. Lots of people killed, big chunks of the city evacuated. Do you seriously think the fans wouldn't extend the Ashcroft laws to make catching terrorists a priority? Listen, I don't want to have my plane hijacked by Islamic terrorists either. I'm not crazy. But in the big picture, there are a lot of those guys, and they don't have a lot of money. The government has lots of money, and guns, and cops, and lawyers. You don't want them to get in the habit of using that shit on Keep them honest. Use your voice. Be heard. So what are the ordinary, real things we can do to make a difference? Listen, you don't have to be Gandhi to get involved. The politics seems big and vague. Kind of damn sucks. You don't have to stop the war, right? But maybe you think you ought to give a shit about it, right? But you just don't. Listen, I grew up in Orange County. When they built State Route 241 back in the 90s, I didn't pay attention. They said it would make the commute a lot easier, and I was all for that. Then they bulldozed it right over the Laguna Hills. They literally cut the top off the hills and dug the builder in the valleys. They mutilated the place that I grew up. So now they want to build a southern extension to 241. They want to bulldoze it right through the San Mateo Creek watershed, which has 11 federally recognized endangered species. They want to run it up to San Onofre State Park and the Don O'Neill Land Cons uh, Conservancy. And they want to wipe out the last piece of pristine coast in Southern California. Which, by the way, we're also going to wipe out Tresla. The server buddies of mine say that they're great in Do I look like a server? Got to join the Surf Riders Association because those are the guys who are fighting the hardest against this thing because it's local and they give a shit. Yeah. Yeah. The last Attorney General threatened to sue the TCA if they went ahead with a 241 extension. If you give a damn, when you go home tonight, send an email to me and being Jared Brown, our new Attorney General, and tell him we're going to do the exact same thing. That's all you have to do. Just start. Does that make sense? Look, I'm not asking you to be Gandhi. I'm just asking you to stop and recognize what matters to you and make the same effort to actually change your world and other people do vote on American Idol. <laughs> All I want is this. Wake up and give a shit. Open your eyes and pay attention. Don't just swallow the spin. Everyone is fucking spinning. Governments, gangsters, the Fortune 500, the guy next door. Do not swallow or they are shoving down your throat. Wake up and give a shit! For God's sake, please, do not blindly fall off of the line of bullshit that I'm giving you right now. I do not want you to buy what I'm selling. What do I want? I want you to... Nice. Do your own thinking. Find out where you stand on things that matter to you. I had this really nice thing that I was going to say about how bad I was that you all showed up tonight and all that shit. Let's get the bullshit. The future is ours to change. 